Good morning guys and welcome back. So today I'm going to show you how to replace the spark plug wires on your 2010 Jeep JK. This might be the same for other Jeeps as well. Um, the early models yes, the later models were 3.6, not 100% sure. If it is, please let me know, it might help someone else out as well. But in this video I'm going to show you a few tips on how to get the wires safely around the back of your Jeep. Now they are a bit of a pain in the, now they are a bit of a pain in the ass because they are very tight um, and our ones have never been changed before and there's a few clips that we've broken and we've put away. So I hope these tips can help you when changing your spark plug wires on your Jeep. If they have, please let me know in the comments. Hit the like button and subscribe button if you haven't already. We'll show you what um, wires we went with, why we went with them, how much we paid, where we got them from and all that sort of good stuff. But let's go into the video and see how we go. So one of the differences between the new spark plugs um, and the old ones is the old ones actually have on it printed what cylinder is for. So you can see there, if we'll focus, it actually says cylinder 4, there we go. And then on the actual distributor itself, it's got printed there um, 6, 4, 2, and then 5, 1, 3. That way you can line them up and match them. But on the new ones we've ordered from Eagle, they don't. So that actually has no reference to what uh, spark plug or what um, cylinder that it's actually for. So what I've done is I've done one at a time like we do with our spark plugs. If you remember from the last video, if you want to check that out, I'll leave a little link just up there. But what we did is replace one at a time. So we just went through, matched it up, um, and I've also got a reference that I'll leave down the bottom of which cylinders what. Um, so I'm pretty sure it's uh, six, four, two. Um, and then we'll go over the back ones when we go over there. But six, four, two, just replace the shorter ones first, tuck them off, plug them in. And that way you're just uh, replacing what's gone. Um, and then I just grabbed the new one and the old one, match them up so the lamps match up as well. We should be good to go. And in a second when we do the back ones, I'll show you guys a little trick on how to get them from, the, from here all around the back of the firewall. To that it's a great little tip and it'll save a lot of time um, and a lot of stuffing around to get them all the way back there just do it all right hot tip before you start pulling them all the way through the firewall and losing them cable tie them together that way they stick together you can just pull them all the way through and it's going to um, match the line that the original spark plugs were on but my one's got these stupid little connectors i don't know if you guys can see that there and one on the other side pretty sure these haven't been replaced since brand new and this has done over 200,000 k's now one because their shitty um, plastic clips there aren't broken so have whoever could replace these without breaking them is a fucking genius because I just snapped both on that side didn't even try that side but yeah hot tape cable tie them together I've seen a few people duct tape them we did try that duct tape just falls off so we just lightly cable tie them and that should pull through all right I left one behind. No! No! We have a straggler. So, yeah. Where's that one gone? The other ones went through. Two went through, alright. One got caught in sake and came off from the cable tie. So we just have to find that one. At least two. Two out of three aren't bad. So we got them through. So one is there. Then also the first piston or. Um, blah, 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 blah. What do you call it? Spark plug you see at the front there. I've got this reference on my phone here, but I also leave a little picture down in the description below if you guys get confused, but that's a great description to help you guys. So one in the middle, and then the furthest one along is number one. The other thing I'm doing as well is I'm laying them in a place I can see them, grab them from this side, give them a little tug, that way I'm not going to mix up where they go as well. So just so I can see them, putting them on top, and then just pulling them ever so slightly, I can be able to see which one moves 
on that side. So we've got the two sitting up there, two there, and we are looking at that back one, and that will become number three. So three is at the bottom, and we'll figure out which one three is there. So three is at the bottom, and then three is the middle cylinder um, on the far side. All right, so the spark plug leads we'll be using today, air conditioning leads, or whatever you guys want to call them. We had other footage we had with the box explaining them. Somehow that stuff got deleted and lost, I don't know how. But we did buy the Eagle 7mm ignition lens, which are a direct replacement of the factory Jeep ones. We did buy them off eBay with the spark plugs included. So if you guys want to do that, we got them a bit cheaper because it was like a package deal. We did get them off eBay. So I'll leave a link down below for the eBay ones and the Amazon as one. What have you got? We found a washer on the ground. Good job. Washers aren't included, um, unless your son can find them on the ground. So I'll leave a link to the eBay and Amazon, uh, and Amazon ones down below um you might be able to find them in like your o'reilly's or something if you do live in the states um here in australia because they are jeeps uh super cheap auto and repco don't really stock that many uh jeep factory replacement parts we do have to buy them from ebay and amazon so do check out those links buy them in bulk um to save a little bit of money with your um, spark plugs as well you can buy them separately they're just a little bit more costly i think the spark uh the leads by themselves are about $34 which isn't too expensive and I said direct factory replacements some of them um, they are 7mm I have seen stories about people um, getting a set and they've been the, like the wrong size so just make sure they are a direct replacement for your year because there's the 3.8 and the 3.6 alright let's get on and show you some tips on how to replace your spark plug leads in your 2010 Jeep JK alright so that's pretty much it for today guys I hope this video has helped you guys change your spark plug leads or ignition leads whatever you guys want to call them on your Jeep JK if the ones are slightly different for the two, the newer Jeeps 2012 or 2011 upwards please let me know in the comments it might help someone else out as well I hope this video has helped you do your leads and that little tip of cable tying them together did help you guys get them around the back of that firewall it is a pain in the ass and if you don't I did do a few um, without it and it's definitely a lot easier doing it with the cable ties I had tried duct tape in the past as well um, and did seem to rub loose. Cable ties really got in there nice and tight um, and managed to get it the whole way through. But that's pretty much it for today, guys. If you liked this video and did help you, please hit that like and subscribe button. It really helped me out. And if you want to see more of these videos, let me know in the comments below if you want to see other videos as well on the Jeep, doing wheels and deals, whatever it might be. Please let me know in the comments. I love videos that you guys get some sort of benefit from, so please leave a comment if you can. If not, I'll see you guys in the next video.